And we're back, folks. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy time. There you go. It's so weird to eat and talk, like on cue. Mm -hmm. But we're doing it, folks. <laughs> this is different, though, than uh, audiobook. So usually I would record me eating and then I would go over it with an audiobook of a book I'm currently reading or I feel should be shared around the world. And then I was like, cool, I'm reading these books. I'm sharing them with the world from other people. So I thought, why not make the audiobook me so I would talk and eat with you about anything and I'm slowly learning that talking on cue is definitely not my thing yet it's like a monkey like dance monkey no so there's gonna be quiet moments where I'm just eating or moments of like oh my god I can't stop talking I guess right now we're just going to eat. Mm. So this is vegetables, lettuce? Yeah. Lettuce with carrots and bell pepper. And then this is like ground beef, and then you mix it in egg, and it's bomb. And of course, rice. I mean, of course. Whoop. So the current book I'm reading right now, it's called Under the Whispering Door. It's pretty much about death. That's the beginning part of it. And this boss is like super mean. He doesn't care if you're unwell or if you have personal problems in life. He wants you to work like a robot with no excuses. And so finally he dies. Well, not finally. <laughs> He abruptly dies of a heart attack. And the only ones at his funeral are his uh, ex-wife and his three law firm partners. And they don't even care that he's dead. They're kind of on the happy side that he died because he was such a jerk. The main character, his name is Wallace, by the way. So then he goes to a afterlife where he's trying to accept that he's dead and he's scared to walk through the door. And this is all fiction. They say it's fiction. But I mean, I'm sure everybody has death and life experiences. They're like, oh my god, I died. But then I was in the middle of life and death. But then I wasn't really dead or in heaven. I was just wandering. And sometimes it feels like this world is you're literally just wandering. And then there are zombies all around you because everyone's just in their own world. 
eat time. Overall, though, it's a pretty good book. I think I'm barely on chapter nine. It has chapter. It has twenty two chapters. We'll see. Mm. And the main guy Wallace, he's gay. And he doesn't know how to accept that he's gay. But then the ferryman, who's like the reaper, he's gay too. So he's like, man. I can be myself and live the way I want to live. Which is probably why he hasn't gone through the door yet. He hasn't been able to find himself and who he is. So that's going to be fun to read. And remember when you have a book, don't rush it. Like, oh my god, I finished one book in a day. Like, dude, are you even reading the book though? But if you want to read in a day, that's totally cool too. Have fun with it. I feel like school made books a chore. Like you have to read this every summer. But it's like, why? I don't get why we couldn't pick our own books or activities to read during summer break. And why would they even have us do homework on summer break? It's like they were preparing for us to go into the corporate world where there's no breaks in corporate world. Eat time. There is one book that I like for school, and I did a little bit of an audiobook for it called Never Split the Difference. And then I realized one of the chapters is like 48 pages. So, can you imagine the attention span of even for me to listen to different parts of a book that's like 48 pages? So, I thought, no. It's better for me if I share that book information through my own lens. Maybe I'll add a different perspective for you. It'll be fun too, instead of just reading from a book, at least we're talking. Eat time. And while I'm eating, leave a comment or subscribe. Or keep watching too. Okay, eat time. It feels strange to say, comment down below. Probably because I'm not used to it, but I feel like nowadays people don't really want to talk or when they do talk, it's mindless talk. So it'll be cool to talk with you and hear what you think about life and what you think about corporate worlds. And if you've had an experience where the boss just didn't give a crap about you and what you did about it. And if you're still going through it, dude, tell me because I want to know. <laughs>
eat time It's so yummy. <clears throat> I was taught to eat every single grain of rice on your plate because it was so hard for the people who do the rice <laughs> like like it's so hard for them to pick it the labor to do it so I was taught to always make sure your plate's clean but as I got older, I think it was just a case of like OCD where you have to make sure the plate is completely clean before you can be like, all done. So now for me, I think it's both. So it's okay if you have old lessons, new lessons of life, you can totally combine it because now the plate's clean. And when I wash it into the sink, there won't be much rice or food on the plate. So then the sink won't get clogged. And then you won't have to replace that when you could have just finished your food or thrown it away. The end.